today the travel room comes to you from the lovely town of Stariba here in um, Montenegro with the uh, two and a half thousand year old plastic seats. Again, we know very little about Stariba, so we're about to go and explore it. So you are welcome to come and join us. Off we go. As we're in the 14th century entrance gate to Starry Bar, we've just seen an olive press and a very impressive Venetian lion. Here we have the remains of uh, what was originally a Franciscan church built in the 13th century, which in 1595 was converted to a mosque. And then, for some puzzling reason, in 1912 blew up due to the fact it was a munitions store. Any questions on a postcard? Send them to Starry What's Bar. left of some 15th century murals? Sometimes natural beauty is actually more spectacular than man-made. Ah! Behind these doors you will find the most impressively preserved mural of St Nicholas's Church dating back to the 15th century. Sadly, for you and us, they're now charred. Okay, what can I say? One of the questions the Starry Bar raises is reconstruction. I mean, do you leave it like what you're viewing at the moment? Or do you rebuild it like this palace just behind me? And it looks like it was built yesterday. I mean, this is one of the eternal questions. Rebuild or leave in situ? Um, yes, earthquakes and neglect have damaged the city, but do we want it to look brand new? Is that the point? I don't know. Without harping on about it too much, this is the realist version of what Starry Bar looked like before all its reconstruction. I mean, the last earthquake that came through here was in 1979, and it levelled the town, basically. So, that's one good thing about Starry Bar. You get to see the old, and then you get to see what it looked like because of the efforts they've put in. Someone's had a vision, and I don't think they've quite fused it all together. But it's an interesting place to come and look around, especially with the natural beauty of the mountains in the background. It does give it a spectacular offset against the town. Here we have the remains of a church that was originally built in the 6th century, the St Theodore. Then that was knocked down, and they built one in about the 12th century, the St George. Then they changed that to a mosque in the 15th century, and then suspiciously, that mosque too blew up in the late 1800s. Hmm, there seems to be a theme in that old starry bar. Have a mosque, mosque blows up. Questions need to be answered. Dating from 1752, we have the most uh, obvious reconstruction in the town, the clock tower. Um, the Montenegrins will tell you that a clock was placed in it recently as an allegory to the fact that the bar has been here for so long and time, even though it's damaged it, it's still here. Here we are inside the bar, we'll take the bars, which have fantastic acoustics, down there to the fire to provide the steam for the bar. As we walk through and Danny walks backwards and films. Backwards. Oh, no, we're looking at the roof and the very modern energy saving bowl that hangs from it. Here we have probably what was the change room and a toilet. And then we step out into the bar. Danny's not good at walking backwards for those who noticed that. Where you used to sit in your towel, sweating it out. The olive oil, do an olive branch, slap yourself around. Always good. Glass of wine when you finish. Thank you, Mother, for the rabbits. What would be interesting now is who was buried here? Why were they buried here? Yeah, how were they buried? Where are the artifacts? Where are the bodies? Where are the markers? Well, thanks again for joining us today at uh, Starry Bar. This is its most impressive view with the mountains in the background. Starry Bar is somewhat the six million dollar man of ruins. We can rebuild it, but then the money ran out and the vision died. It's an interesting place to come. I'd recommend highly that you bring a little picnic, glass of wine, and you'll get a lovely day like today, hopefully, and you will thoroughly enjoy it like we have. It's two euros to enter, which is hopefully going to be spent on giving you a little bit more information of what happened here. But as I say, 
On behalf of Danny and myself, thanks for joining the travel room. We'll see you next time.